Here we are in conversation with Michael Kroger and Kristen Abram, of course, who is a libertarian commentator. Lovely to see you both. So let's talk about today and uh, my theory of the case, Kristen, which is today was a very consequential day in what's happening in the States, right? Firstly, we start to see a levelling up where it's basically 50-50 right now uh, in the national vote, uh, in the polls, Trump was winning. Trump is leading still in all of the swing states, but Kamala is starting to pull a couple back. And now it looks like a scenario where if everything sort of stays where it currently is, it could all come down to one state. Also, we saw, yes, the comments with the black journalists, but also I wanted to take the time to show where some of the potential Trump attack lines are going to be there about sort of the fake, phony and wrong stuff, which I think is going to be a much better message, but of course will be drowned out by the outrage of what happened today. Do you think today was a consequential day or this is just one of those days where it's consequential for the media because they get to go orange man bad? Oh, it's such a complicated answer, Paul, but you love to ask me identity politics questions, don't you? Oh, I know, because um, I know you're so into look, it. Like, as a libertarian, you just... I'm I mean, so you just into it. it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. Um, so, in terms of what he said at the uh, black journalist press thing, yeah. conference... Uh, yeah, reporter thing. Uh, definitely inappropriate. Um, the problem is when you turn around and say someone is a diversity hire or you're, you end up talking about their race or, or whatever, you do uh, um, disincentivize all the... or negate all of the accomplishments that they have had. Correct. And I have a massive problem with that. Every time I get to an achievement in my life that I have extremely worked extremely hard for, uh, people turn around and go, yep, the diversity quota is there. Even if it is a joke, it's still said. So I think that is poor form. And I think if Trump continues to make these kind of comments and word vomit here and there, Carmela may Stephen Bradbury him. So he just needs to be careful on his word vomit mm. because if she doesn't run a campaign, potentially the votes will continue to go up. Who knows what happens when she runs a campaign, though? Yeah, I mean, look, again, you know, there's interviews, there's, there's, there's the conventions, there's the sentencing. There's the, we all know what are the set dates between now and then, but the reality is early voting and the machine... And, again, we've seen before, literally in the state of Pennsylvania, there was a Senate fight between a bloke who'd had a stroke and a TV doctor, right, and people were pretending they were arguing as if they were sort of arguing over, you know, the most serious things in history. So people just get behind their team in the end. 